welcome back everyone so today in this video we will be boosting the processor to make the computer performance faster and this will be also fixing any kind of lag or the low fps problem while gaming on your windows 10 or windows 11 so without any delay let's quickly get started and before starting guys make sure if this video help you out then please hit the like subscribe as it will not cost you anything but will surely help my channel to bring more valuable videos for you you can also join my membership where you can live chat with me to fix any of your pc and laptop problem all right now before moving ahead i would also recommend you that create a restore point in case if any of the setting doesn't work for you then you can easily revert back very simple click on your windows search type restore then you will have to click on create a restore point now here at the bottom you will have to click on create and give any name that you can easily remember like i will give cpu boost and then click on create now this will take some time only and the restore point will be quickly created so once it's been done you have to click on close click on ok now next click on your windows search type here ms config then from the suggestion you have to click on system configuration and here from the top menu option you will have to click on boot then click on advanced options and here you will find number of processor options so you will have to click on the box check it and from the drop down you have to choose the maximum value that is available in the drop down so on my end it's 16 so i will go with 16 if on your end it's 8 or 4 whatever is the maximum value you will have to select it once done you have to click on ok click on apply click on ok and now it will ask you to restart but we can finally restart after completing all the steps so click exit without restart next click on your windows search type gp edit then click on edit group policy now here from the left hand menu option under computer configuration you will have to click on administrative template double click on it then you will find system double click on system and in the system you have to look for power management so scroll down to the p section and you will find power management once you click on it on the right hand side you will find power throttling settings again double click on it then you will find turn off power throttling double click on it again this will bring up the another box now here you have to choose enabled then you will have to click on apply click on ok and now you can close it now in case if you are not able to access the group policy editor then i have already created a video that how to enable the group policy editor on your home edition you can watch that video and enable the group policy editor now next you have to click on your windows search again type performance then from the suggestion you have to click on performance monitor now here from the left hand menu option you will have to click on data collector sets double click on it then click on user defined right click on it hold up to new choose data collector set and name it as cpu boost and then instead of create from a template you have to choose create manually click on next and here you have to check the option of performance counter then click on next now click on add and here make sure this is being selected to processor then below you have to choose the maximum instances that is available so on my end it's around 15 so i will select it then click on next and click on finish so now you can see cpu boost has been added and it says stopped so you need to make a right click on it and click on start all right so once done now you can close it next click on your windows search type power cfg.cpl again hit the enter key now here you will find different kind of power plan and it might be selected to balanced or power saver so i would recommend you to go and select the high performance in case if it doesn't show up here then you can click on show additional plan and then you can choose the ultimate or the high performance whichever is available the one selected on the very right of it you will find change plan settings click on it then click on change advanced power settings this will bring up another box now here make sure it's been selected to high performance now here in the list below you have to look for the pci express then click on the plus icon you will find link state power management again click on the plus icon and make sure this setting has been turned off you don't have to choose 
maximum power saving or moderate power saving you have to keep it to off then you will find processor power management click on the plus icon again in the minimum processor state the setting will be zero percent then click on maximum processor state and in the setting keep it to hundred percent now if you're using a laptop you might see an additional option of cooling so you need to select to active now once you are done click on apply click on ok and now we are only remaining with the final step for that right click on windows icon click on task manager then click on startup applications and here you have to disable all kind of third party application that is start along with your computer so exactly what happened whenever you turn on the computer these applications get started automatically they run in the background and occupy a lot of cpu resources so you need to make sure that you disable these applications like any kind of third party software, any kind of browser, OneDrive, whole link, Steam application, Discord, Skype, anything that you can manually open and enjoy it, you have to go ahead and disable them. Now once you are done, go ahead and restart the computer and the next time you will surely find the improvement and your CPU performance will be surely boosted. So that's all guys for today, hopefully you found this video helpful. If yes, do not forget to like and subscribe and I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.